don't really hear too much about Almay, but it was recommended for oily skin, so let's check it out. Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. Welcome back to my Concealer Wars, today's episode six, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all of the videos down below for you. I will be testing out 10 drugstore concealers for your oily skin, and for each of these concealers, I will be testing them out just underneath the eyes, while baking and doing just a very light setting. So let's get into concealer number six, and that's gonna be the Alme Clear Complexion Concealer. This anti-blemish matte concealer is formulated with salicylic acid, aloe, and chamomile. This concealer is non-communogenic, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, and cruelty-free. So I tested this concealer out for two days, and day one is my first impression, but before we roll the clips, you might be thinking as you're watching the clips, why is she putting on this concealer underneath her eyes when it is made for blemishes? As I was doing my research, a lot of people of course said that it is great for blemishes because it really covers up your blemishes and dries it out with that salicylic acid. But then people also said that it was great for their under eye area. So I really wanted to test that out. Also, I got a color that is not meant for blemishes. It is only meant for my under eye area. And since people said that they like it underneath their eyes, I thought, why not test it out and let you guys know? So let's roll the tape. I got this in the shade light. Let's do the smell test. It smells like paint. It's not that strong though, but it does smell like paint. Also, the doe foot applicator is insanely tiny. So I'm gonna blend out the concealer on the left side with a damp sponge and then the right side, a brush. All right, the color looks pretty good. Already this is looking so, so nice, and this is just one layer. I do see that it is just a light to medium coverage, so I am gonna see if this is buildable, just cause I don't wanna look tired. So this is definitely buildable, and holy crap, look at how bright this is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on with a brush. So this is just one layer with the brush and I'm already liking this so much better with the brush because I feel like this is so much brighter and I don't feel like I need to go in with another coat. So even though I don't feel like I need to put on another layer, I am going to put on another layer just to see if I can build it up and blend it out with a brush. Holy crap, <laughs> this is so bright. I would never go for this much coverage, but I just really wanted to see what it would be like to see if it would still build and just blend beautifully. So just so you guys know. So it's definitely buildable and blendable with the brush. I just feel like it's just too much product now because this really allows all the product to go on your skin. And then of course your damp sponge is gonna be soaking up some of the product. So even though this does look really nice, it is still way too much product. And I'm gonna use my sponge to just soak up some of this so I don't look so crazy. Okay, so this definitely looks so much better. Let me just show you guys up close to see what this looks like. I am liking this better with a brush, just with one layer. And then, um, of course, if you always put on too much, then you can just use a damp sponge to soak up some of that extra product. But already you can see that this is brightening my under eye area and it's very matte, just so you know. It is very, very matte. So let's do a close up. So here's the left side looking really, really good. And then here is the right side. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm back with the rest of my makeup and this concealer is looking really, really nice and it's playing really well with the rest of my makeup. I did bake, so I dried it out a little bit more. <laughs> so I do think that tomorrow with just a light setting, it's gonna do really, really well and not look as dried out. This has definitely really brightened up my under eye area. It's really nice. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here's the left side and the right side. So of course the real test is to see how this wears at the end of the day and I'm just gonna predict it's gonna stay matte. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know. 
So I'm back from my check-in and it's been about 10 hours since I have been wearing my makeup. So let's go ahead and take a look at my concealer. As you can see, my oils on my face have come through, except for my under eye area. They are still crazy, crazy matte. It got up to 100 degrees today, so that's telling me something. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little bit dry, but we know that I baked today, so that was bound to happen. There is zero creasing though. This has not moved at all. I think it looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the left side. And here is the right side. So this has stayed in place and I'm so impressed with it. Of course, I know that I dried the crap out of it because I did bake, but I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like tomorrow with a very light setting. So I'll be back to let you guys know. Today is day two and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours now. So let's go and take a look at my concealer. So I took about an hour nap today. So my mascara did transfer just a little bit on the bottom part of my eyelid. So we're just gonna forget about that part and just look at everything else. So I do see that there is some creasing and some transferring. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. So here's the right side, just a little bit of creasing. It's really not that bad on this side. And of course, right here is where I had just a little bit of transfer from my mascara. And here is the left side. You can see a bit of creasing and you can see this in person. Not so much on camera, but there is a chunk right underneath the crease of concealer that is missing. So yeah. As you guys saw in the clips, I didn't really have good experiences with both days. Day one was when I baked and of course it looked just too dry. And then day two with the light setting and it just didn't really last long. I got maybe a good six hours out of it and then it started creasing, it started transferring. So this morning I went ahead and put on a balm primer on my under eye area and then I put the concealer on top and it actually looks beautiful. It does not look dry at all. I did bake because that's just what I do and it looks perfect. So whether you are a brush or a damp sponge person, this actually works great with both. With the brush, you don't have to use as much product and you're gonna get a lot of coverage. And then a sponge, especially a damp sponge, you are gonna get just a little bit lighter of a coverage just because the sponge does kind of soak it up a bit, but it is buildable. So before I put on my makeup today, I was convinced that this concealer was just gonna be a no-go, but as I used my under eye primer, it actually is so, so good. So let me know down in the comments below, have you guys tried this concealer out? Do you like it? Do you not? And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central time, so keep an eye out for that.